Well, hello everyone. It's Sunday, November the 10th, 2024. I'm Doug. It's time once again to play some Wordle. Uh, today, Shirley Alex writes in yeast. Uh, obviously, that is a suggestion for a starting word. Uh, and I think we've only used this once before a long time ago, but it's an excellent starting word. So we're going to give it a go. What do we get with the word yeast? Uh, okay, we get an E out of position. I'll take that. I'll take whatever I can get on that first guess. Uh, and so now we'll move along. Uh, probably move that E around here. Uh, we have I, O, and U. We can also take a look at uh, a few good consonants in here as well. Uh, what do I want to do? How about C, R, E, um, D R E something with an R E maybe in the second and the third uh, is a possibility. Um, hmm. How about let's see. Let's try a visualization to try and get me something. Uh, Crest obviously won't be working out here. Um, hmm. Wow. Uh, why am I having a you know, Creed is interesting here. We, uh, over the last week, we were playing early on, early in game, trying um, double vowels that were out of position. And, you know, we had a lot of success with that. I wonder if I get really aggressive with that strategy here and try in my second guess uh, to go with Creed. So unless the E is in the front or the back, uh, we'll get some intel. Uh, and if there's two E's, that'll be fantastic, too. You know what? A little unconventional. A little unconventional, but I'm going to go for it. What about Creed? Is the answer to today's puzzle the word Creed? No, it's not. All right, but as uh, I was hoping, we'd get some good information. We have, <clears throat> excuse me, exactly one E, and we know it's exactly in the fourth spot. So, um, not unhappy with that outcome at all. <clears throat> now, of course, we got that R also out of position. Um, I could see a good case for the R on the third, but also the fifth spot. Um, well, you know what? You know what immediately jumps out at me? Here we go. I'm going to put the, I'll walk you through my thought process, then fill it in. Uh, starting with the R in the back. And how about the word hover? Because that'll help us test one of the three remaining classic vowels. I have a funny feeling there's another vowel in this puzzle. Uh, so it's going to be obviously either O, I, or U. Um, and quite frankly, yeah, hover looks good to me here. Uh, loner is also interesting now. Well, not the most uplifting word in the dictionary. Loner actually might be better because, of course, we're testing two extremely common consonants. So I actually, I've talked myself out of hover, but the same concept, and we'll try loner here. Uh, again, better letter selection, uh, and I think we might we might be on to something. You never know what could be the answer. Uh, is the answer to today's puzzle the word loner? No, it's not, but oh, look at that. N, E, and R all in position. Okay. Um, I'm pretty confident, again, that the U or the I uh, are going to make an appearance uh, almost certainly in the second position. Now, U N E R does it. I can tell that's not really going to be where I want to go. But if we go I N E R here, we have uh, minor is obviously the first thing that comes into my mind here. Um, finer? I don't know about finer. Uh, I think minor is definitely the most likely possibility here. Um, yeah, I think I like that. Um, whiner, I don't think that's a word. Um, I think minor is what I'm looking for here, um, to be sure. Uh, yeah, I think, I'm, I think I've talked myself into minor. Uh, M-I-N-E-R. So, all right, without any further ado, let's see if I have uh, figured this out. Is the answer to today's puzzle the word minor? No, it's not, but oh, look at this. Did not expect this plot twist. Um, 
Oh, there's an I, but it's in the first spot. So here we have I blank and E-R. Okay. Uh, so let's see what we've got here. Um, what on earth am I missing here? Okay. I blank and E-R. Uh, I don't know. Well, there's no double R. Oh, inner. I'm like thinking to myself. So here's the thing. I'm going through all the unused letters on the board. I'm like, there's, I don't see any words here. Uh, and I realized, well, okay. Uh, the double would not be I or R or E, uh, but it certainly could be the letter N. So I, yeah, I think we've got this, um, all but wrapped up, um, Let's go ahead and make it official. Interesting puzzle today. Uh, is the answer to today's puzzle the word inner? Yes, it is. All right. Uh, so it's always interesting when we have solutions with multiples of the same letter. Hey, look, sometimes they can be uh, the kind of thing that trips you up. Let me know in the comments how you did with today's puzzle. Uh, we have some fantastic conversations there. Uh, and if you haven't yet joined in our little community in the comments, Come on in, the water's warm, and we all uh, we're all pretty good friends here. Uh, let us know your starting words as well. Uh, please consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. You know the drill. We do appreciate. We're coming up on six thousand subscribers. Uh, we're get getting there any day now, so we pre appreciate that. I'm so excited about all the subscribers. I can't contain myself. Tomorrow's Monday, and we are going to be starting. Uh, we're gonna put a little extra in our efforts tomorrow because we're gonna start with the word extra. So uh, there you go. Well, folks, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow for some more Wordle.